And good morning on this Tuesday. I'm Mark Saldi in the Lilly Broadcasting Studios. As we uh, cover breaking news for you at 10.06 on this uh, Tuesday morning, police and rescue crews are on the scene of a shooting, an active shooter scene at Erie High School here in the city of Erie. Erie News Now's Ethan Kibbe is live at that scene along Cherry Street in Erie with the very latest. Ethan, uh, what have you learned thus far? Mark, good morning. Let me get out of the way. I want to show you what's going on behind me. You can see ambulance, all sorts of police vehicles. And if we swing over here, Tom, can we move the camera? I want to show you just how many police vehicles there are right here. Because what we've learned this morning is there was an active shooter here at Erie High. Now, I've heard in recent moments that there are plans to start releasing students soon. But I actually talked with a student who was inside the building. And he said that this is what he went through. He said he had just gotten to his algebra class because he had come in late for the day. And he says he was talking to the teacher, trying to get a little bit of help on an assignment and all of a sudden they hear shots he said eight of them bang 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 eight shots the teacher runs to the door opens it a crack looks out says there's an active shooter urges the students to jump out the windows to safety and so that's what he did that's how we were able to talk to him but right now mark it's just nervous anticipation here at erie high parents starting to gather over this way on the edge of the police perimeter because they're not sure what happens next they don't know if their kids are okay people waiting wondering and Mark, at the moment, that's what we're doing as well, because we're not sure the extent of anything that's happened here. But the moment we learn more, the moment we learn more, we'll bring it to you on our Facebook page, on our website, and live on air. Because if you've got somebody here, you're certainly worried today, and we'll try to ease those fears as soon as we can. For now, though, Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now. All right, thanks so much, Ethan. Word from the scene is that there was at least one shooting victim. The school, uh, last word was any, it was in uh, lockdown. Ethan, any word on whether the shooter, the, the shooter or shooters, whoever was firing a gun, is taken into custody? I know at one point they were talking about an active shooting situation. What do we know about the person who may have been firing that weapon? Mark, we don't know a ton, although we do, we do hear reports that the shooter is in custody and, and there's a slightly more relaxed, in, in as much as you can ever be relaxed with this sort of police presence, but you can see a, a little bit more relaxation from the officials here. It doesn't appear to still be an active scene. We've heard the shooter is in custody. It's now just a matter of seeing how many people are hurt and just how badly before students are released. Mark? All right, again, this is breaking news coming out of the city of Erie. A shooting situation at Erie High School. Uh, we have learned that there's apparently one uh, victim and, again, a suspect, at least according to the Erie School District. They posted a statement on their website a little bit ago that a, uh, that, that shooter was, in fact, in custody. Of course, this is a developing story happening all within the past hour or so along uh, at Erie High School along Cherry Street. Again, an active shooter within the school building this morning. One victim, apparently one person in custody. We'll have much more on this developing story uh, throughout the day here at Erie News Now. We've got our next full over-the-air report coming your way at noon on WSEE. That'll wrap up this edition of Breaking News, though. And for now, we'll get you back to your regular scheduled programming.